with tasseled hair, pajamas, and a gorgeous sunrise behind me. This is your beloved blogger, Robert LaCosta, saying, arise and shine. Uh, this week's topic is, every day is Mother's Day. Coming on the heels of Mother's Day, it was good to look back on Mother's Day, but it was a little shocking to me this Sunday because I asked a younger relative if she'd like to become a mother. It was like, I don't know about that. That was kind of a quick reply. It wasn't like I've always wanted children or I've thought about it. It was more like a no. <laughs> well, it would have been less shocking if it hadn't come on the day that we celebrate moms and moms of moms and moms of moms of moms. <laughs> Every generation seems to honor a real live mom. No problem there. But honoring the concept of motherhood anymore seems to be a stretch for the younger women today. You know, in some faith traditions, Jesus' family is known as the Holy Family. It seemed good enough for him. I wonder if it's a smart idea to try to improve upon it. <laughs> well, our portal to heaven today God's design for relations are a portal to heaven that gives us a glimpse of the Holy Trinity, sort of like a healthy family. <laughs> and our scripture today comes from Luke, where it says, The angel Gabriel said to her, Don't be afraid, Mary. You've found favor with God, and you're going to conceive and give birth to a son, and you'll call his name Jesus. And then later she wraps him in swaddling clothes and just loves him, just like a mother. And from that beautiful passage it, where Jesus is on the cross, he looks down and says, John, behold your mother. And to Mary, he says, behold your son. What a concept, this concept of motherhood designed in heaven and brought forth here on earth. Well, with tasseled hair, pajamas, and a stunning sunrise behind us, this is your beloved blogger, Robert LaCosta, saying, arise and shine and arise and bless your mother. <laughs>